<laughs> Look out below! where it ends. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, to Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always...
always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Fine. Better for me, actually, to not have to waste any more time on you. I hope one day you will understand. See? It's easy throwing away worthless things, isn't it? I've disappointed you. I hope you'll forgive me someday. Today of all days. I, I can't I can't think about it. Not now. I have to keep my mind on the proving. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? I swear! Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue.
Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> I don't think I should have said the last thing. Get down from there! Bad enough, you're drunk. Why do you this have to go climbing now. houses? I made sure well, you no, have to tell you're us not when supposed I'm to go climbing on other people's Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. All right, let's do this. Time to go. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold of your fruit, Nora, uh, uh, Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. 
I hated the card you made. But the 13th king is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> Evil of so the Nora. On the eve of your He's wearing a focus. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. Ah! What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? I mean, were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Oh, well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct.
I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe? are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern Crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. All mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. It's better than last year. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You were, you were very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. You didn't know the words to the blessing. Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's going to be with you, is it? This is how it's going to be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. 
It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my life. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So? Your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm. All these people who kept me out. And now here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another. 
all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around and climb back up. You don't want to do this, girl. It's not worth it. Tribe, but I had the wilds. Precision. No. 
not enough. Must be perfect. Come on, come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. 